slithering in for spring. More snakes are being spotted all over North Texas. One mom has a warning for you tonight after her son was bitten. Jeff Paul, live for us, White Rock Lake, all new at 10 o'clock tonight. Jeff? Well, Doug and Kaylee, with flowers in full bloom right now, it's easy to get caught up in all the scenic views. But before you pull out your camera and start snapping away, you might want to take a closer look at what's lurking in the tall gra grass. It could be something that packs quite the bite. You can actually see the two puncture no. spots. I a flash of a second, and Sarah Nichols' life nearly changed forever. It was just like lightning. I saw the snake lunge and bite his finger. Her son Owen was playing in the backyard when this cottonmouth sunk its venomous fangs into the toddler. Nobody likes to consider the possibility that their kid is going to stop breathing right then and there. Ian was rushed to Dallas Children's Hospital, where four rounds of anti-venom saved his life. But as the weather warms and more folks like Alexis Fleissag take advantage of the picturesque scenes, their chances of running into a snake increase. Uh, I try not to think about that too much. But yeah, it's, I can see it happening, especially in the grass over there. Even more so with all the wet weather. With all that rain comes resources for, for snakes' food. Dallas Zoo herpetologist Bradley Lawrence says spring hotspots like blue bonnet fields are low risk and aren't typical habitats for serpents. Um, they want absolutely nothing to do with, with us. His advice, look around and don't step or reach into anything you can't see. Really short My amount dear. of time. Sarah Nichols will now be watching her yard a lot closer. It was definitely, we definitely got lucky. Now, the herpetologist we spoke with this evening says the best idea if you do happen to see a snake is to simply walk in the opposite direction and don't pull out your phone and take a picture. Reporting live here at White Rock Lake, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.